everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am jess and today i am going to give you guys a greenhouse tour this greenhouse is in my plant room in my office um it is i believe four feet deep and maybe like five feet across or something like that. I don't know. I set it up um, a few videos ago. I will include the video up here in the card, but also down in the description box for you guys to go check out me setting it up. Um, but now I finally have had my plants in here for a while. Everybody is loving it. Um, there has been so much new growth. Um, the humidity has definitely been kept up and uh, it's just been going really well. And I also have just gotten a few more plants that I've put in here. So I kind of wanted to show you them. I have some seeding seedlings started. Uh, and so let's just jump into it and let me kind of show you what's going on. This is my little greenhouse buddy. He's going to be with us today. So if you hear any funny noises, it's probably him. All right. So this is what we got going on in here. First off, this Monstera Deliciosa, it is gorgeous it has two new leaves that have awesome fenestrations this one's beautiful um i just got this monster the other day i think i spent 45 dollars on it i need to repot it into a different nursery pot um, than what i have it in and then i'm going to put it into this planter look at the aerial root going on there um, he's not going to be staying in this greenhouse i just kind of have him in here for now uh, I'm going to be putting him in my living room. Up here, I think this is a peperomia of some type. I'm not exactly sure, but it's doing really well. It has really thick, juicy leaves. Then we have my lick lickety split. Um, I believe it's a philodendron. Uh, it's getting a new leaf, which is really exciting. This plant kind of grows weird, so it doesn't really fit in the greenhouse all that well, um, but it's doing well. Then I have some really fun air plants. This little guy, I need to like mount these or something, um, but they're just kind of chilling out here in the humidity. Then I kind of have a propagation tray. I had an old uh, fiddle leaf that wasn't doing great, so I cut him off. But we are getting some roots, so that's exciting. This is a whole cup of Monstera adansonii. And I had already potted up quite a few. Then I have some golden pothos, some golden pothos, or uh, neon pothos, golden pothos, a bunch of spider plants, some ice plants, snow queen pothos. That one's really fun. And then I have these two orchids that are not necessarily doing the hottest, and I need to kind of figure out what to do with them. I would like to mount them, I think. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what they are. Um, they're crosses between a few orchids that I got, so I actually haven't seen what these will look like yet. Then on the next shelf, we have a ton of these uh, little Peperomia uh, caparata hybrids. Um, some more of that Peperomia that I'm not exactly sure what it is. Then I have my seedlings. We got some tomatoes and bell peppers and serranos. I think this one's lemon basil, cilantro. Um, my little string of turtles, terrarium. He's not looking super great. I don't think I had him in bright enough light, so... Uh, we're kind of rehabbing under the grow lights here and hopefully he'll kind of bounce back. And then on the last shelf in here, we have a few Monsteras. Uh, this one's getting a new leaf, so that's exciting. Bird of Paradise. Then we have, um, I think this is a Plumosa fern, uh, Heartleaf Philodendron, poth uh, Brazil Pothos. This is called a Black Hills Gold Plant. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the other name is for it. A Norfolk, Norfolk Island Pine. Um, and then my Snow Queen Pothos. And then the other Peperomia back there. Then on this back wall, uh, we kind of have our supplies. I have some scissors, um, a little rag. This is soapy water. It's just Dawn dish soap and water um, in a spray bottle. My little trash bag and then this is an Apenthes and it's not doing super hot um, but they I guess are slow growers so I'm just being patient. This is really the only picture that looks semi-decent and even the little cap is um, shrivelly. otherwise the rest of them kind of look like that one so they look pretty rough um, but I 
just got him not all that long ago, so I'm kind of trying to just let him chill in here. Uh, then we got a variegated, uh, not a variegated, um, just a normal string of hearts. Um, it's looking very pretty. Um, in full, it's putting on a bunch of new growth. Um, I just need to get a different pot for it. And then down here, we got our humidifier. My alocasia poly that keeps trying to um, unalive itself every chance it gets. Uh, it gets spider mites about every week. Um, so I have that spray bottle of soapy water to treat it all the time. Uh, another Monstera Deliciosa. Uh, it's just a little baby. Um, some snake plant Sansevieria uh, propagations that I'm trying to kind of get to root in here. They're not looking the best, but we're getting there. And then another Monstera. Somehow we have this going through here. So I don't know how that happened. There we go. <laughs> um, but we have another monster back there. All right, then this shelf is kind of a hot mess, but we have this massive um, Pelia uh, plant, uh, but it got super stretched out. And so I'm trying to let it kind of refill itself back in with the light. And then I'm probably gonna chop it all up um, and propagate it and repot it because it's in desperate need of a repotting. Um, we just have a few random propagations over here. Again, this is the Snow Queen Pothos. And there's another Brazil. Then over here, we have another Nepenthes. And this one's looking good, other than this little cap that I'm not exactly sure why it doesn't like me. But I feel like this is always the first thing to dry out. But I just got him. And then we have our... Um, Sorensinias, uh, they're all doing really great. They've put out a ton of new growth. These are all pretty crispy, but that's how they came. Uh, this is the new growth since I've had it and it's doing really good. Then this is just a random assortment of Syngonium pothos. Um, I'm guessing this is a type of philodendron. I'm not exactly sure, but we just got a lot going on in here. <laughs> then we have a row of seedlings. These are a bunch of flowers. Um, beautiful string of turtles. This one's doing so well and loving this grow light. And then this is a really exciting little batch. These are Monstera Deliciosa babies. And I have Alocasia polys in the first, on the left hand side, and then Monstera babies. And then I have a um, Philodendron, but it's not really doing anything. So I might need to replant some of those seeds. Otherwise, then we just have some herbs. But the Alocasia polys are starting to come up, and um, a lot of the Monsteras are already up too, so that's really exciting. Then in the last little corner, we have um, some more Neon Pothos, and they all have some new leaves. These are propagations. They look like they're doing really well. Um, some Monstera adansonii ones, beautiful new leaf coming in on pretty much all of them and then a few little Monstera babies. A lot of people were really concerned about our wooden floors. Um, they're not wooden, they're actually luxury vinyl, so I think they should be okay because they're supposed to be water tolerant, resistant, whatever, um, but I haven't noticed that there really has been a ton of water leaking through, and I do have a lot of um, these nursery trays without holes in them to try to keep the water in, um, so I think that also helps. Um, the humidity is just kind of the only thing that would be higher in here uh, than our, the rest of our house. So uh, I'll be watching it, but I think it should be okay. But yeah, I'm super excited with how much all of these things have grown. I definitely feel like they love it in here. Um, I need to kind of reorganize, plant up some more things. Um, I'm definitely not done with this space, uh, but I definitely like where it's going. So I'm really happy with it right now. We do have three grow lights set up in here. I don't think I said that. Let me show you real quick. So first off, I have this grow light bulb, which is kind of hanging from the ceiling. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but that's where that is. We do have a window, but this is a north window. And so it really doesn't get a ton of light in. Then I have my Mars Hydro Grow Light over here, and I have this, uh, it's either a T8 or T5 fluorescent, like um, only three of the lights work, uh, but it's 
it's probably like five or some years old. So it's definitely kind of on its last leg, but I wanted to put that up here for my seedlings um, to kind of get those started. Otherwise, the rest of the plants were totally doing just fine with this one light. Um, but I am noticing, I think my the Mars Hydro Grow Light has kind of a little bit more kick to it. So I think maybe one day I'll replace it with that, or maybe I'll put that one in the back and the Mars Hydro Light in the front, um, whatever. But because uh, the plants were doing really kind of just fine with the one light. Um, they didn't need the rest of them, but with my seedlings, I wanted them kind of closer to some light. So I'm definitely really excited to get this potted up and moved out into my living room. I think that this plant will be beautiful. Uh, I haven't, I have Monstera. I have a ton of little Monstera cuttings and propagations, but I didn't have one that was um, really kind of aged and developed. And so I was really wanting one and just kind of decided to go for it because I think that this is going to be really pretty um, as just kind of a piece of decor almost. <laughs> uh, I definitely think there was, so that was the newest leaf, but I was going to say, I think there's a new leaf coming. Yeah. This is a newer leaf. Like you can tell that it's not um, as dark as the rest of them yet, but it's already getting a new leaf started. So I'm really excited to see how much this one grows. That is all I have for you guys today. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment which plant you want me to buy next. Um, I can't decide <laughs> which ones I want. So um, if there's something that you would like to see me try, definitely put it down in the comments below and then I'll be able to justify buying it. Uh, I will probably post more of a plant room tour once I kind of get the rest of it organized and my succulents repotted. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.